yes. Opo. Uh, that one that is called like oh. Manila. Okay, mm -hmm. what I just. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now here we have items like guns, ding guns that were used by the Europeans. Some of them would use them in local warfare with Africans and could empower those Africans by using or giving them some of these weapons. Some of the local chiefs in Calabar bought some of these guns. Mm -hmm. Like there was a Calabar chief that bought a machine gun back then mm -hmm. that they were using in executing wars against neighboring communities. Here we have a picture showing the um, the uh, expanse of Africa, British penetration in southeastern Nigeria in the 19th century. That's a picture of Queen Victoria, who reigned over larger territory than every other British monarch before Elizabeth II. Now she was Empress of Australia and Canada, and she was also very influential in bringing missionaries to Africa. People like William Wilberforce, who discovered the, you know, the, uh, the source of the Niger. Mm -hmm. And then people like the Landa brothers who eventually traced its mouth where it's you know actually deposited its waters mm -hmm. into the Atlantic Ocean. People like the Landa brothers, that is Richard and John Landa. Mm -hmm. So many other missionaries, such as uh, Baiki, who also was very important in the discovery of the um, uh, vaccine, uh, sorry, that was used for the prevention of malaria, mm -hmm. which is penicillin. Mm -hmm. which he found to be very effective. Dr. Baiki, he was a medical doctor, actually lived in Lokoja. Dr. Baiki. Baiki. Yes, he actually lived in Lokoja. And to today, some of his descendants are still found in Lokoja. Mm -hmm. Now we have Mungo Park. You mm -hmm. heard the story of Mungo Park. Mm -hmm. He died actually somewhere in Busa, which is in Niger State, while still trying to trace the mouth of the Niger. He actually discovered where the Niger rose from in the Futajalam Highlands in Guinea. Then here we have a picture of Mary Kingsley, an African uh, a white woman who lived in Africa almost of her life and wrote the story of the history of Africa. You know, most African history is written by the Europeans yeah. because they decide to write whatever they like mm. about Africa because they look at Africa as uh, not having yes. a history or that it hasn't got people who could document. That is Dr. Baiki I was telling you about. Mm. He was a British missionary, like a doctor of missionary, and came to Africa and actually settled in Lokoja and was able to raise a family there in Lokoja too. Mm. Here we have uh, Reverend Hukwadel, mm. who brought, he was a missionary, came to Africa, was able to bring education and enlightenment to Africa. And then he eventually, when he left Africa, actually on sick leave, you know, Africa was regarded as the white man's grave. So when he left Africa, went back on sick leave, uh, the school hope order, they asked for permission to name the school after him. So he gave the permission, and that's how the school came into existence. This is his uh, uh, portrait. Mm -hmm. Now, that school is still in existence, one of the long standing schools in, uh, uh, in Nigeria. This is Dr. Magregor Light. Magregor Light was a, a shipbuilder. He brought steamer vessels to Africa, was able to expand business in Africa. We also have Huge Goldie. Huge Goldie was a statesman, a soldier, and a politician. He was the forerunner of the company known as the Royal Niger Company, which brought about the commercialization of the territory known as Nigeria. Now here, 